All right, let's talk about a measurement that you might need to make. And uh, you're not quite sure how to make it. So um, you have some kind of complicated circuit and you have some resistor here and you really need to know, well, how much, how much current is flowing in that resistor? You really need to know how much current's flowing in that resistor. So you're, you're trying to figure out how to do that. So uh, you could try to figure out maybe lift up the lead and put in a amp meter. You could try to do it that way. You could get one of those clip on meters, clip on that meter, try to measure it. And you say, okay, well now I know DC, but now I know AC, you know. Uh, so there's a really super simple way to do it. All right, so let me, let me explain the super simple way to do it. Okay, let's start with this, with this simple case here. We're gonna have a square wave and that square wave is going through a resistor and it's going to a capacitive load and it comes out and so since this is like an ASIC signal, you're, you're kind of looking at the AC uh, current that goes back and forth in the resistor, and we want to measure that AC current in that, in that resistor, okay? And so let's go ahead and hook, hook up a scope probe here so we can watch the voltages here. And let's go ahead and hook up a scope probe here, and we'll measure the voltages at the, at the input and at the uh, output, okay? Okay, so what are we looking at? This is uh, channel one. So this is going to be our input to our circuit, and our output of our circuit's on channel two. Let's turn that on. And so that makes sense, right? We have a capacitor and the capacitor has to charge up and then it stays there and then the capacitor has to charge down. So once it equals steady state here, it just stays and charges again. And we know that when we're charging a capacitor, it requires energy. And that's, um, that's current. So how do we measure current? Well, current um, in our circuit is the voltage across that resistor. That resistor is now going to be our measurement aid, okay? So any voltage across that resistor is a current, right? Voltage equals current times resistance, right? So we know the resistor and we know the voltage change, then we can calculate the current change. But we need to know the voltage across the resistor. Well, we have the voltage on one side of the resistor, that's the yellow trace, and we have the voltage on the other side of the resistor, that's the blue trace, all right? So we just need to subtract those two, and that gives us the voltage across the resistor. Well, we can subtract those two by using the math function, so your scope might be different, but turn on math, and I can turn on math, and I get to choose what math thing, what operator I want. I can have A, A plus B, I can have I can have A minus B, I can have A divided by B, I can have all kinds of stuff, but I'm gonna have A minus B, okay? I wanna know the, the difference across that resistor. Um, and I wanna know the difference between channel one and channel two. So I set this to channel two. So it's gonna be A minus B, it's gonna be channel one minus channel two. We'll turn it on and there we go. Um, so the purple trace is now showing us the current flow. We have maximum current flow and then it dies off. And then we have maximum current flow and we it dies off. So um, I can move I can move these down a little, uh, but not too far. Let me let me just make these small and then I'll send them down here to the bottom. There we go. So we can see our current trace, right? So our current comes up and then it comes down. Now I made those small and it's introducing noise because of the math function it's using. It wants to have the biggest uh, display possible, okay? Because it's not doing any measurements, it's just doing math. So if these are nice and big, then we get a good, a good subtraction because we're reducing the error. So if you're going to use this, make sure that you have the, a big uh, display of the waveform and then the math, the math function, the math function will look good. All right, so uh, we can just read off the current. We can say, all right, uh, we are looking at um, let's see, let's change the scale here. So we're changing the scale to 200 millivolts per division. Okay, that's the scale on the uh, math function. So two, four, six, seven, okay? So we have seven divisions and it's in 200 millivolts per division. So two, four, six, seven, right? So it's 700 millivolts and it's a 1K resistor. So 1K resistor is just one zero zero zero. So you don't even need to do the math. You just take 
millis and convert them to micros. And so you can just read directly off this chart in microamps. So that's 700 microamps, and then it dries down to, to zero microamps. Then it goes to negative 700 microamps, then it goes to zero again. And so that's the way you do it. Very easy. Don't need to break any lines. Just put your two scope probes on, do the math function, away you go.